What's up fam and welcome back to another KDM video and today we're gonna completely transform the front end of the Kia Stinger. A lot of people might hate it and a lot of you might love it but we're completely modifying this Kia Stinger. We're gonna try to do the most beautiful Kia Stinger yet OEM plus style so nothing too crazy. We're not gonna cut up the fenders like we did to the Kia Optima over there. <laughs> I do want to make this Kia Stinger something to have people lay their eyes on and be shocked that a Kia Stinger could look so good. Time for these big ass side skirts to go on the car. I didn't know but they already come pre-drilled so you know exactly where to mount it. Let me show you guys. So there's already slots. That way you guys know exactly where to mount. These side skirts are pretty sick. I got them off of eBay. The brand I did want to go with the Icon Motorsports ones that have like the two splitters extended on each end, but they didn't have those no more. So we're going to have to use this for now. If any of you are selling your Icon Motorsports side skirts, let me know. I'd love to purchase them from you. For this being one of the cheaper side skirts, well, I mean, then again, it is ABS plastic, but it's some good material. It also comes with some good black plated hardware fam just to show you how low the car is this is a low profile jack and it barely could go through look at that <laughs> a little bit of 3m tape should do the trick to hold it in place cool guy glasses are on i gotta cut out these little markings here for the underglow that comes on the car or floodlights so i gotta cut those holes out that way I don't cover up the LEDs that are underneath the stinger. First piece, first piece is complete. First piece is complete. Looks really flush to the car. As you could tell, this is a big ass box. I'm about 5'8 and this box is probably six foot. So standing next to it, Here's a little example. We're gonna put the lip on the car finally. I did want to get it painted to match, but for now we're gonna run it matte black. Let's open up this big old box. And there we go. Oh shit, yo, what the fuck? This is not the right part. Hold up. Here we go, this is the right part. Get this big old box out there. So here's the Duraflex front lip that we're gonna go with. The reason I went with Duraflex is because it can withstand much more compared to carbon fiber. I am running Duraflex for the front lip up in the front of the K5 over there. And let's just say the carbon fiber lip that I used to have on there completely exploded in less than a month. So I just stick to Duraflex and that thing has lasted me well over a year. I went from Cali to Arizona to San Francisco without cracking that front lip. Now it's time to install this front lip. I was digging through those box to see if there's any screws for this lip kit and there's literally no hardware for it so i have to use some spare hardware i was wishing that this kit would come with some hardware but unfortunately it doesn't i guess it's just the lip itself so i'm actually gonna put some 3m tape so i can hold the lip into place exactly where i want it since i don't have a partner so here we go a little bit of 3m in all these corners that way i make sure i could hold the lip on while i start drilling some pilot holes all right. Three M's holding it in place. All right, I got all the areas I want marked off where I'm gonna drill some pilot holes. Now let's get to it. So for the sides, I'm gonna use some short self tappers. And for the center, I'm gonna use some longer ones. So you an example real quick. And the lip is, oh, this lip is solid. This thing's not going anywhere unless I hit a big old dip, then this thing will completely explode. But for now, it's hard mounted and ready to go. And our first test is gonna be this steep driveway and let's see if it'll survive. Gotta put those wood planks or bricks under because this car is so low. So 
So here's a quick comparison. This lip here is made in Duraflex. This thing here literally scrapes everywhere. I've taken it to Arizona and San Francisco without it cracking. I really love this lip. It's like really good quality. That's the reason why we did a Duraflex on this car here. I'm done with carbon fiber. You guys could tell it's sun age like crazy. You could barely see the carbon fiber at this point. I mean, you could see it here, but because of the sun, it literally burnt the hell out of this hood. It's literally matte now. But man, this lip looks so good. It's not as low as that one over there, but it's still pretty low as you could tell by the little scene of the driveway. I'm the car around right now because I wanted to see if it the car could withstand the freeways as well as withstand the streets because I didn't want to start heading off to work and the lip just explodes halfway to my way to work or even the side skirts flying off but so far no issues I have not bottomed out anywhere because the car is very low I feel like this car is actually lower than the Optima it's just the Optima's lip is very low it's about a four inch drop compared to this one. Many of you are asking if the big turbo kit has been installed onto or what's going on with the Kia Optima. Well, I am keeping the car. Uh, I haven't done the big turbo kit because I really needed to get a daily driver first before I put the car under surgery and started getting to work on it because you never know if you're gonna be missing a part or something goes wrong and then you have your car down and then I'm carless for work. So now that we have this stinger as our daily driver or commuter for work we're now able to put the car under surgery and install that big old turbo kit because man i can't i'm like so excited to have over 400 horsepower and take it to the streets of mexico and put it up against some american muscle start building up the big turbo kit for the kia optima that way we could exceed and make over 400 wheel horsepower and we could take it to the streets of mexico and we could put them up against some real power cars what i really want to do is put up the kia optima against my stock stinger it only has the hks blow off valve as you can hear there other than that stock exhaust just some suspension wheel and some cosmetic stuff for now um, i already have everything like i said as for exhaust and everything but I'm taking this car slowly. I want to get it put in correctly. I want to make sure everything's done right and I don't half-ass it like we did to the Kia Optima because there's some stuff that I did to the Kia Optima that I kind of regret doing. Just one thing, for example, is I remember I cut the mufflers off before I even had wheels on the car and that's like the most wabby thing you could do. What I suggest is just saving up some money, buy some suspension and wheel first before you start doing any muffler deletes or exhaust stuff because it looks really funny when you have a stock car and a loud exhaust but stay tuned because we are going to be doing that big turbo kit soon with the help of ksr performance he's going to help guide me into installing that because we need to get that done but before that he's got me some special sauce for the kia just so we could have the car be real dialed in before we get to putting that big turbo kit so guys like i said stay tuned hit the notification bell subscribe if you haven't yet done so about 45 percent of you guys aren't subscribed who are watching so please guys hit subscribe it really helps out a lot it doesn't hurt you guys at the end it's just you guys are going to be able to now get notifications or see my videos up first before anybody else that way you guys are up to date and you guys don't miss out on any videos so please hit subscribe you guys and like i said you guys this channel is for you guys i'm here to make kdm or kia and hyundai cars be known as not just some trash shitty cars i'm trying to prove to the people in the world that kia's actually got something going for them as well as hyundai's i mean just look at the genesis platform that thing is doing such a good job so what do you guys think was that lip the move does it look good does it complement the car comment down below you guys i think the kia stinger build is coming out pretty fire as of right now looks like there's going to be a rainstorm so i'm gonna end the video here if you guys did enjoy please hit the like button also subscribe you guys make sure to stay tuned i'll catch you guys in the next video peace <laughs>